Here, you take a bite. Now let me have a bite. Take a bite. Hey, it's Scotty. Scotty's Animals. I'm with Gary. And we have a really fun video today. But I want to talk about guinea pig costumes. Because it's Halloween season. And, you know, you see a lot of pictures on social media of people dressing up their guinea pigs. And pretty much all year round. But especially during the holidays and the holiday season, you see a lot of costumes for pets, costumes for guinea pigs. So I want to talk about, is it safe? And what are some ways that you can do it where you're not uh, harassing your piggies, you're not making them feel uh, uncomfortable or stressing them out? So just a couple strategies for how we can do that the best way possible. So I want to say that, of course, not all costumes are created equal. Some costumes are just a simple piece of Velcro that you strap around their waist and that's it. Some costumes you actually have to put them inside them and it can be, you know, cumbersome and, and uncomfortable and it's not something that you're, you're dropping, not something that your piggies are probably going to like. So with all of these ideas, you want to decide what is in your guinea pig's best interest. And then also, um, you know, I know that you guys really care about your piggies. You wouldn't do anything that would hurt them or that would, you know, make them uncomfortable. But people, especially on social media, are very impressionable. And, you know, just because you do something with the utmost care doesn't mean that someone else is going to do it with the same amount of delicacy and, and care. So just keep that in mind when you're doing things and posting things on social media that there might be someone else who hasn't thought it through that's emulating or imitating you and is it in the best interest of your piggies and other piggies that are out there that may you know be subjected to these same kind of things. So I had a couple solutions and then I'm going to do a photo shoot myself. So the first thing is definitely, like I said, not all costumes are created equal. So if there's a costume out there that seems like it has minimum, you know, uh, ways of hooking it up, like it's just one simple piece of Velcro, then that might be a better option. Uh, another option would be just a simple hat. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I got some really cute doll hats for my piggies. They're a bunch of different colors and we're going to do a photo shoot and we're going to see who wore it best. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do all the piggies. We're going to have all the piggies try on different color hats and we're going to have some fun. Uh, but before I get there, I want to just continue with this thought. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about costumes, dressing your piggies up. And one last idea is, now there's Snapchat filters. Some of them actually do work with guinea pigs and pets. But there's also plenty of ways where you could, say, superimpose your guinea pig's face on other characters. Now, a lot of photo software and this video software that I have right here allows for a mask. So that means basically I can have a soft circle shape that I can cut out any picture and put it over top of any other picture. So that means like I could take Gary's picture, you know, so for example, let's take Gary's picture right here. Here, hold still Gary, look at the camera, focus, look, good. And so I'm gonna take that and let's see who can I put him over, you know, some kind of a monster or something like that. And so I can cut out his face and soft, put it over top and you know maybe it's not going to look 100% real but sometimes the less you know the more fake it looks the cuter it actually is because you know no one's going to believe it for a second but it just is cute and it's just a fun thing to do to celebrate the season and your piggies so with that in mind let's do a photo shoot right now and i really am anxious to hear what you guys think in the comments because the way i feel is the least harm you can do because our mission is to give these guys the best life possible and if we're harassing them if we're stressing them out if we are causing them unneeded stress and harm 
then that doesn't really align with our mission and with our goals in life and, you know, especially with this channel. So uh, let's continue this conversation there. And right now, let's just get in with the cuteness, with the fun. Uh, all the piggies are going to be in this photo shoot. So watch to the end so that you can see all the piggies. And then I'd also love to hear in the comments, let me know who wore it best. Oh. You look great, Piggy Smalls. You look amazing. I think that's the thumbnail right there. Who were it best? You did, Piggy Smalls. Good boy. You wanna do it like that? Dice, you look so handsome. Yes, you do. You also do look pretty good with this black hat. <laughs> do you like it proper like this? I think you look kind of cool with it like that. It's really tilted. Buddy, you're so handsome. I think the black is the winner. I think the black one's the winner. Just so you know, of course, all of our models get uh, some lettuce as a treat. Um, you always want to feed your talent. That's just a rule in any production. <laughs> your hair's too fluffy. Your, your hair's too fluffy. Pipsqueak. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Now these are the only hats that I have. At the rescue we used to have all sorts of hats and I will show some pictures of the ribbons and the hats and the various things that we've had at the rescue. Yeah, baby, yeah. Pippi. Good boy. Now, I have a video. I'll actually put that right here in the corner about how to take really good pictures with your piggies, even with your phone camera. Um... And one of those suggestions in that video is to shoot video and then you can grab a still if you've got pigs that move very quickly. So in the case of Pipsqueak, because he's so rambunctious, this is, and also the hat might not stay on for very long. 
Pippi. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this might be a little crazy to try to get, <laughs> look at this. Okay, let me take it away just for one second. Oh, I think I got a good one. We'll have to check the stills. Oh, you dropped your hat, Ronnie. Man, Ron, this brown hat looks amazing on you. And actually, this yellow hat really brings out the blonde in you, Gizmo. Man, you guys are some handsome boys. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Can you guys just get a little closer together? Here, share this piece. Good boy. I like these hats because they could be bolo hats or fedoras, depending on how you bend them. Now, how much is this bothering them? I don't think it's bothering them that much, especially when they get the lettuce. And they're not confined, they don't have something strapped to them like some of these other costumes. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about costumes? I know not all costumes are created equal. Some of them are simple Velcro. Good boys. So I will let them finish their lettuce, but I think we got a couple good pictures here. Okay, ready? Smile. You got green stuck in your tooth. Can you guys hear the helicopters coming? Zoom out, zoom in. Come back. This hat sticks really nicely to you. Here, here. Unlike Pipsqueak. Okay, here comes the helicopter. I just want to make sure that it doesn't freak them out. So, pause it here. Does the lettuce look cute to have it in the in the shot, or does it is it better without it? Oh. <laughs> Gus's turn. As you can see, I have an assortment of hats. Uh, I found all of these on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I got all these hats. I think they were about 10 bucks for all these different colors. And I like them. These are doll hats. So they usually the perfect size for guinea pigs are doll size. Now, obviously, maybe they're a little too small for their heads. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. And I think it's really cute. Okay, you ready? I think we're gonna go blue for Gus. Now, Gus is a sassy boy with abitude, and who knows if he's gonna want. Let's let's flip flip it up. Go for more of a fedora look. Looking good, Gus. Gus is eating so fast. And he's so ferocious. Struggling. Oh, look at that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lower the camera a little bit also to get a different angle. Some of these piggies, though, right, they're not going to let me take the, their picture without any treats. <laughs> Don't eat the hat. See, that right there was another reason why, or it just goes to show why you might want to just be shooting video so that you can, if there's a good millisecond, you can use it. So let's try like the whole uh, on the back of the head. Now his hair is so fluffy that it doesn't, we can't get that hair in there. But look at that sass. Yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be totally in complete frame, you know. 
Not everything has to be in frame. Just getting the brim over the eyes can create a cool look. Let's try one on the side. You set your play, I guess. He's not having it. He's not thrilled with this. Again, what is in their best interest? If they don't like it, then maybe you don't do it, you know? If they will tolerate it, then maybe it's okay. He's the king of the side eye. Look at that side eye. <laughs> Nice. Now this orange hat is really strange because with there's something about the color and the material that when I put a bright light on it, it was like going yellow. But the sun's gone down now and I just thought that the orange and his orange might play off of each other in a cool way. But still, it is brighter than it actually looks. And that's the problem with some piggies is the color you know, if, if they've got dark fur, it might be harder. And you just might have to choose a different color. Just get that on your head. Okay. Oh, come on. He can see this other giant head of lettuce right here. He's going for it. Nope, come on. Nobody said that this was easy. But remember, if it's causing me stress, it's causing them stress. Of course, the lettuce helps. Where's my snack? Dude, you look so good. Yes. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I feel like Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except I'm not going to toss the camera when I'm done. It looks so good. Can I get one picture without the lettuce? Here, ready? Go. <laughs> Can I get one picture? It looks so good, bud. Here, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Definitely a good idea to shoot video with something like this. Come here. And get your lighting set up beforehand with maybe with a stuffed animal. Again, check out that video on my, my photo tips. You see how I've got the low angle and a neutral background. I mean, I never claim to be a photography expert. Here, that's my finger. No, no, come on. Man, this hat is sticking on pretty good. Oh, there it goes. Now, here's another thing I guess I might as well show off. Uh, this is like a little rechargeable LED light. It's hard to tell in this camera, but uh, it has three different intensities and it has a couple different color temperatures. So this is neutral. This is more of a bluish light and this is more of a warm orangish light. So I'm actually going for neutral and I'm actually going to go lower. You want to get a nice rim light as they call it, but I was noticing that it was too strong with Gary. Here Gary, you can have some carrot. I'm excited to try a couple different color hats with Gary because of his reddish orange fur. So Gary, here, keep eating this. Let's try, oh, you are so photogenic, aren't you? And another thing is I can move this light over to the side instead of behind him and you could probably see a big difference that that made. Gary you are so handsome. First let's try the red just cuz. Oh what a gentleman Gary. 
Now I'm gonna see how I can control the intensity of the light. Now this is very subjective and you look through the camera and you decide what you like the best. An even light is pretty good, but also more of a high key. Look at that, that is a intense scene and maybe somewhere in the middle might be exactly what you want. You dropped your hat. Gary, stay on the set. Oh, we... So. Let's put this hat on you. Darn, Gary, you are handsome, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at that depth of field we got going. Can I get like a slight angle, Gary? Man, a lot of people are gonna be falling in love, Gary. Okay, ready? Take a big bite and chew. Chew, chew, chew. Oh yeah, so handsome. Okay, have it back. Maybe I go a little lower, he's not happy with that. Okay, we're going down, going up, scoot out. Here, you keep the carrot going. Don't back up, you don't have to back up. I got gotcha. you. Just take a bite, take a bite. And then we'll switch to the brown hat. I think the brown's gonna make his orange fur pop. This red hat makes his orange fur um, like look duller. Tilt it over. Maybe I don't like this angle as much as the front angle. We could even try going down a little bit. Zoom out just a little. See, because I don't want too much of this floor, but that's why it's good to have a neutral floor so that it's all about your piggies. You know, maybe if we, we go down a little, That actually looks pretty amazing. <laughs> okay, let's try the brown. Totally different vibe. Let's stick that one back. Oh yes, Gary, Gary. Let's go back down a little. But Gary, you have that fuzzy hair. These hats are just a little small for the piggies with the fuzzy hair. If you look at doll hats, they have cowboy hats. There's a whole bunch of types of hats, especially if like you check out eBay. Look at you, Gary. Take a bite. Okay, you can take the whole thing. So cute. Okay, look at me. Gary, look. Good job, amazing. You're earning it. Okay, and I just wanna do one more color, the green. Oh my gosh, you look like a little leprechaun all of a sudden. Oh, hey there, Gary. Oh, hey there, Mr. Gary. Oh, yes. Look at you. Look at you. My wee, my wee piggy. You're my wee piggy. You look like a little leprechaun. Yes, you do. My young master, Gary. Okay, let's... We can change, the, see how I'm moving the light, getting different intensities. And if you shoot video, then, you know, there might be one moment where you move the light that just looks the best. I honestly think something like that looks really good. And then I can maybe move this back. Experiment though, right? That's, you know, 
Don't be too attached to the outcome, and then you'll be happy and surprised at whatever you get. And what's the most important thing? It's that you're treating your pets with respect, that you're not going beyond their comfort zone. Gary, you look so handsome. Zoom in. Oh, so Vogue. That moment where he turned, that might just be so great. Okay, Gary, look what he found. <laughs> look what he found. Gary, that lettuce looks really nice with your hat. Silly boy. Okay. Ready? Can I take it away for one second? Oh, no. Nope. Here, here you go. Bring some more of this other light in. Maybe bring this light back. Okay, come forward, Gary. Good job. Okay. Turn to me. Oh, so handsome. Look at that. Maybe bring that light a little forward. Come on, right there. There you go. And we can come back more straight on. Oh, so cute. Look at that. What a sweet boy. <laughs> Gary, that could be the thumbnail too. Who wore it best? Look at that hat just sticking to your fuzz. Okay, thank you very much, Gary. You're done. Oh, you can take the lettuce home with you. Now, I think Nate is just going to look amazing in a brown hat. Should we fedora style it? So I'm just bending this hat up and down to get a nice little curve in the brim. Slick your hair. Oh, yes. You look like a cowboy. You look like a sheriff, though. Focus this thing. Oh, that's so good. Here. Oh, come on, folk. Gary. I mean, <laughs> Nate. Come here. He's always on the search, even when he's still chewing. There's not one moment where there's no piece of lettuce out of sight. These hats do catch fur. Oh, Nate, you look so great. Here, have a, have a piece of carrot. You didn't want that? Just take a bite. What other, oh, okay. What other color would be good? And try yellow. You're so summery. You ready for the club? With that yellow, yellow hat? You look like a pimp. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Uh, here, come on. Okay, what's a good color? Let's try the black one on. The hair does stick to them. You've got to make sure that the hair is clean. You don't want to have to Photoshop a piece of hair out. Okay, Nate's such a crybaby. Now you want to pay attention to if your piggies are whining, but Nate, Nate cries about everything all the time. So you've got to take his crocodile tears with a grain of salt. Let's go down a little, zoom in. Come on back. All right. So you can give them like a little break where they eat and then you do more of a lighting adjustment. Too much of that rim light's not helping at this point. 
And remember, maybe their fur is going to actually make a big difference. The type of fur they have, how reflective it is. piece out of there oh my gosh you can't just chew for one second <laughs> I did not expect Nate to be the most cooperative out of the group but these boys that got coming up Shrimp and Bengal, I think, will be quite cooperative. Okay. Cry baby Nate. But he still looks good. Now, I kind of knew these guys would be good because they're so shy. Good boys. Come on, at least have some treats. You don't want to, you're afraid. You're so shy. Look at that. Amazing. Man, Bengal, you look absolutely smashing with that white hat. What do we flip him? <laughs> you guys still look good. <laughs> so cute. Here, have some treats. I think we already got a good shot of these boys. For some reason, I just thought that Cupcake would look amazing in a red hat. It's a little bit of color theory. So, Orange and blue are opposite colors, so I thought Phil would look good with his orangish blonde with blue. Now, another thing is I really want to get that light, get that bright light on Cupcake because he's so dark. Otherwise, you could adjust it in Photoshop, but prefer to do it in the camera. Let's try this light blue hat. <sighs> Phil, don't be upset with me. Here. Okay. Again, Phil's got that fluffy hair. Cupcake, it works okay. Come here, Phil. but the hair does not accept the hat. These guys are not as shy. Here. They constantly need treats. Oh, look at you though, Cupcake. You should do a photo shoot just by yourself because you're so handsome. Get out of here, Phil. <laughs> look at Cupcake. Just kidding, Phil. You're beautiful. Can I just put this on you real quick? Oh. <laughs> that might be the best I'm gonna get with these boys. Here. You want some carrot? You know, this is going to be a fun thing to do, even if you don't get good photos. You just got to be patient.
not be so tied to the outcome. Nope, that's too bright. So these hats are just a, a touch too small for some of these piggies' fluffy heads. But luckily, they were very cheap, and there's so many different kinds that you can get. Actually, lower is better. It's not horrible. They're not on the same plane, so they're not at both in focus. Oh. Look at those boys. All right, that's probably as good as I'm going to do. <laughs> well, thank you guys for being such good models. Especially you, Cupcake. You're so handsome. It's like, yeah, I know. So handsome, Cupcake. Look at that fur. Gary, you really made short work of that carrot. What'd you think? Who wore it best? I think that you are definitely one of the contenders for the cutest. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun shooting it and it was really fun to see. And also it's kind of interesting to see the different personalities of my piggies. Some of them just sat there. They were happy to take treats and they didn't even notice that there was a hat on their head. And other piggies, you know, they shook it off every second that, you know, any chance that they could. And so keep that in mind. All piggies are individuals and they're not all going to like it or react the same way. So if you can, if you're going to put a costume or a hat or something like that, try to make it as quick as possible. I mentioned that photo shoot tips and one of those tips is to shoot video. So if you shoot video, you can shoot just a few seconds. You can take that costume off and then you'll have a bunch of good quality stills that you can choose from, from that video footage. So I hope that this video made you think. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was a little bit of, of lightness, a little bit of fun. So I will put that video about how to take better guinea pig photos right here. So please check that out because when I go on social media and I see really horrible photos or just photos that don't show off how awesome our piggies are, it just drives me crazy. We can all do better than that because we really want to raise awareness for these sweet guys and let people know how awesome our piggies are. Alright, until next time, thanks for watching.